Hey Joe, what's up? We still going fishing today? Yep. All right, I was thinking we would hunt around a little bit and then check out that spot Frank was talking about. I'm in. Nice, I'll send you the location and then after we'll hit up some off-road trails. A lot of people don't know that within 10 miles of your home, you can find lakes, streams, parks, places to find awesome fisheries. And those spaces are places you can learn how to fly fish. People look at the city of Los Angeles as a big urban sprawl, but there's all these like little hidden gems of nature that you can go and search for. Urban fly fishing is looking for all of the secret spots around town, the different accessible bodies of water that you don't think are awesome fishing spots, but they are. Moving from one park to one stream to one lake. Discovering is so fun. The outdoors is really at the core of everything I think about as an artist, as an educator, as a community member. The history of the land, the people in those spaces is what I unpack and I think about when I'm in the studio. Growing up, my father always found a way to get me in the outdoors. And it's something that I wanted to pass down to my kid, that he would be able to take the Toyota out and have his own types of experiences. I'm definitely the guy that makes adventure happen. Like I'm the one who plants the seeds in everyone's head that they gotta get out, they gotta fish, they gotta explore, and let's get the tires dirty. Let's find a new camping spot. When you find a place that's off the beaten path, but in plain sight, super stoked. After a day of fly fishing, we're always looking for the next thing to have fun. And today it's definitely off-roading. I take it camping, I take it fishing, I take it off-roading. It can really go anywhere. No matter where the scavenger hunt takes me, I know the Tacoma is gonna get me there.